Say is a layer one blockchain tailored for DeFi. It is built in Cosmos and therefore the main perk that follows from this is inter-blockchain communication with all the dApps and chains and assets that are built in Cosmos as well. There are three points in its architecture that make it optimized for DeFi. The first one is on-chain order book. An order book is a list of all currently open buy and sell orders of an asset. And that sounds quite important for any kind of DeFi application, right? So Say decided to put it to its core of a protocol and build it fully on-chain. This is, for example, different from DYDX exchange that also has an order book, but that order book is off-chain. The second feature is frequent batch auction mechanism, and that is to defeat and fight the MEV or minor extractable value issue. So this issue arises when certain malicious miners try to reorder the transactions within one block. So they censor some or insert others and therefore acts on the tiny differences in price. The way Say tries to solve this and actually does solve it is with this mechanism that ensures that all the transactions and all the orders within one block have one clearance price that is uniform for all of them. The third feature is order bundling and that is happening in two layers. The first layer reduces the gas fees and the second layer increases the throughput. In the first one, the market makers can submit several orders in one transaction and therefore pay the gas fees only once. In the second layer, an order bundling algorithm bundles together all the orders for one market, let's say market for Atom, into one single smart contract. And that smart contract is executed in the virtual machine. So virtual machine is like the engine of the blockchain. And by executing only one smart contract instead of several ones for all the different orders, you are increasing the throughput of the blockchain and reducing the block time. And that is increasing basically the speed of the blockchain. Some people mentioned that the parallel transaction execution is a feature tailored for DeFi in Say as well. However, I would argue that it is just a feature to increase the speed of the blockchain which is of course important for DeFi activity, but many general purpose blockchains are also using it. For example, Aptos, we have uh, Sui as well, and we have Solana with parallel execution. In fact, the characteristics of these free blockchains are quite similar to say, if we talk in terms of uh, like transaction speed and block times. So I will make a table when I'm editing, but basically say has a uh, 22K transactions per second, and Solana has uh, 10k transactions per second, and Sui doesn't really have a specific number, but the <laughs> potentially unlimited uh, number of transactions we can classify as over 100k per second, and Aptos has 130k transactions per second. And they are all sub one second transaction finality, apart from Solana with 2.5 second finality. However, it is still very fast. As I already mentioned, they are all using some kind of parallelism in their infrastructures, and they're all based on proof of stake consensus. There are some minor tweaks, but the base, the essence is a proof of stake for all of them. Anyways, let's get back to say and go over the transaction execution, how it would happen with the optimizations in its infrastructure that I described. So firstly, the market makers submit the orders. Let's say there are two of them and they each submit 10 orders. Then those 10 orders get bundled into one transaction for one market maker and into second transaction for the second market maker. On the second layer of bundling, we then bundle these two 10 order transactions into one smart contract that is executed in the virtual machine. This smart contract uses order matching engine to match the trading pairs and therefore different trading pairs can be executed in parallel, so together. And that's it. So what kind of applications would benefit the most from such a procedure of order execution? And that is of course order-based DEXs. They're just asking to be built on say because the order book is at its core, it is on-chain and such fast speeds also allow for very convenient transaction execution. And those exchanges are of course customizable for like spot trading, futures, options, uh, I know, sport betting and etc. On its website, Say mentions that there are 50 dApps that are being built on it at the moment. And it includes some dApps that are being built by Axel Infrastructure, Satori DeFi, Vortex DeFi, UXD DeFi and Nitro Infrastructure. On the website as well, we can find information about who is building the blockchain, and that is Jeffrey Fang and Jayendra Jog. In the end of August this year, they announced their first $5 million funding round led by Multicoin Capital. 
Multicoin Capital is a VC that also invested into Aptos and Solana, just for your information. And there was participation from Coinbase Ventures, who also invested into Sui and Solana. There were other investors known a bit less, and those include Vidalfi Digital, Hudson River Trading, GSR, Hypersphere, that is not that <laughs> unknown, Flow Traders, Kronos Research, and some individual investors that are founders of some projects. As for the tokenomics, it is of course too early to speculate on that, and the project has not released anything yet. However, there is an indicated airdrop for Atom Stakers and Luna Stakers, and additionally, when there was a testnet this summer, they mentioned in a tweet, so take it with a grain of salt, that the 1% of tokens are going to be yep. allocated towards the testnet rewards. Since I mentioned the testnet, I have to say that it has already concluded. However, you can still participate and get yourself involved with SAY with their international growth program called Atlantis. And that is basically an ambassador program, however, with further and more prospective prospects in a way. So to conclude, the main thesis that SAY is pushing is that there are two ends of the spectrum and there are two extreme ends, either very general blockchains like we have Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, any kind of, you name it. And we have app specific blockchains like DYDX or Osmosis, and they are going to be in the middle. They are going to be just a blockchain that is general enough for all the DeFi dApps to be built on it. However, it is not general enough for the general use blockchains. However, I would argue a little bit with the fact that the general blockchains are actually general because we end up having different qualities of, of those blockchains because of their consensus and architectures and therefore we end up using certain blockchains for certain activities even though they intended to be not something specific. So for example we had the booming age of DeFi games and many of them were based on Solana and that is because it was uh, the fastest one available at the time. So all the NFTs uh, in the games had to be processed fastly as well so they used Solana and not Ethereum for example. However, by saying that, I by no means intend to undermine SAE and its optimization for DeFi because I myself described you the infrastructure that makes it tailored for DeFi. Well, that was it. Uh, see you in the next video.